Hello gentlemen, in this video I'll be making an old school RuneScape or PlayStation 1 style character model and giving it a basic idle animation. This character is for a small game I'll be continuing to make models for and hopefully continue to make videos for as well. So sit back, lock in, and I'll show you how it's done. Starting with the head, I work out silhouettes. If you watch any of my other videos, you know how important it is to map out silhouettes before anything else. This is especially important for the head as it's the place most people will be instinctively looking. When I think the head has a good basic shape, I can move on to doing the body. Because it's a large, fairly simple shape, I start off with a cuboid instead of a flat plane. I wanted to give this character sort of a gorget, like a chest and shoulder padding sort of thing. This makes for a very complicated shape on the shoulders, but it also provides a good place for the arms to be so we don't get that awkward action figure looking joint that we see with a lot of uh, other mesh models being made in block bench right now. When I have that fleshed out, I can return back to the head. Some parts just weren't looking right for me and I wanted to flip around the edges on some of the four sided planes. I learned while doing this that you can actually keybind this so I didn't have to manually remove and make new faces for all of these. But I've got a bigger situation on my hands now because at this time the direction of the model has changed. I'm now told that this model will be animated in Blender, which means all the stuff I did prepping for Block Bench's animation is thrown out the window, and I can make things a lot more simple. Thankfully, that doesn't really matter because I'll end up switching back to doing Block Bench animating later in the video. With the torso done, I can begin mapping out the legs. We decided against giving the character the full robe seen in the concept art because it would restrict a lot of the movement we could give him. We instead opted for these really puffy pants which I think make him look better. On with the, uh, I don't know if I'd call it a centerpiece, but a significant design point for the character. Uh, they have these big red designer shoes and I wanted to make them have a higher poly count than the other parts of the model, just because I know they'll be a focal point. Once again, I'm mapping out silhouettes first and the rest can be free handed. Getting a good connection from the legs to the shoes was a little hard because we go from a pentagonal to a quadrilateral shape here. When I move on to the arms, I am still under the impression that this model will just be animated in Blender, so I don't bother with any of the action figure style shoulder preparation common with block bench animating and just add more polys where the elbow will be going. And then I got really angry and wanted to tear the model apart to satiate my sadistic urges. Actually though, I then learned that I will be animating this model and I'll need to reincorporate all of the joint preparation that I deleted earlier. First though, I wanted to get the elbows in place because I was already focusing on the arms. I'll save you the trouble of watching me completely fail at this and just let you know that I brought in a piece of an unfinished commission I took a while back that had really good elbows. I then just modified that to fit this character.
With that disaster out of the way, I can continue splitting up the model into a bone structure like I mentioned earlier. As you can tell immediately, I'm finally getting to work with meshes on Blockbench. If you've ever used Blockbench before, you know that mesh modeling is that one thing everyone is too scared to do, and the last time you tried it, it came out like trash. That's not your fault though, working with meshes in Blockbench is really hard, but hopefully I'll be able to help some. Import some placeholder hands here. I'll change some later, but I want to show my commissioner how the model is coming along at this point, so it's a temporary fix while I make a little showcase for them. Now I can get these hands mapped out here. Keep track of how I make bones for the hands. They can be tricky sometimes, especially if you want to make them anatomically accurate. I kind of found a weird middle ground where I didn't quite map out all the fingers and didn't give them all of the joints, but it, it doesn't have to be super complicated. That's the point of low poly, isn't it? There, and now that some basic posing is done, it's time to get initial feedback from the commissioner. I received the model back the next day and made a few texture changes I won't bore you with. Now it's on to the animation. I'll just let it play out by itself. One thing to mention is that I struggled with the interpolation method for this animation. Um, as I am going for a sort of old school RuneScape style model, um, I ended up just going with the step interpolation method because that kind of gave it the jumpy uh, old look that we were going for. And that's the model. This model has 30 bones, I don't know how many triangles it has, and it took just a little under 5 hours to do. Thank you.